YouTube. We are back again today for another episode of Bauer Family Learns, where I teach a game to someone in my family and also teach you at the same time. And today I'm here with my seven-year-old son, Sean. Hello. And we are going to be revisiting the Zorro Dice Game, but we're going to be adding the Zorro Dice Game Heroes and Villains Expansion, which is going to be very similar to the base game. But what's new here is, are you ready, Sean? More cards, more cards, and more cards. Now, I also want to mention that we are playing with some very upgraded premium components that were part of the Kickstarter. Yeah. There's this little uh, Zorro dice roller, which is actually ingeniously built. And, Just, the, and, the, and the mask. The mask is actually part of the base game. Pull it up. And these huge metal dice we're going to be They're using. They're also very heavy. They are very heavy. Now, we also have our uh, upgraded character meeples here yeah. and our character color cards. And we also are going to be playing with some premium equipment and some common equipment that are from the expansion, but also some ones that were part of a Kickstarter uh, promo pack or something like that. So, do you remember how to play, buddy? What do you remember? What do you not remember? Because remember, in the game, what's going to happen is we are going to be going various, doing various different feats, heroic feats, exposing a bamboozler, finding a lost true love, interrupting a firing squad. And when you do these, you are going to earn the equipment underneath. And the equipment underneath are going to give you essentially whatever that... that so that's like you always have a green dash die. So you always have one of these you can use. And the other great thing about these cards is they count as both of those, which is huge, if I recall correctly. Uh, so the next thing that you're going to notice is we also have some newer ones down here. So they got this little symbol. So this is the staff. And if you ever have a question about what one does, they have these really helpful ones. So a staff can use up to once per turn and physically turn a die into a new value as if you rolled them that way. So for this one, you get three frusts, and you can set those to any three things you want. That's actually really nice. This one is always going to let you re-roll those particular things. So on your turn, would you like to go first? Sure, what do I do on my turn? All right, so let's refresh our memory. On your turn, first thing you're going to do is you are going to travel to which one of these feats you would like to help them complete. Mm. You can help find a lost true love, adopt an orphan, interrupt a firing squad. What's your plan? Why not? Maybe I could expose a bamboozler. Okay, would you like to go alone or would you like to go help? Now, if you get help, I will get to help you, which means you're more likely to do it. But I also get a very so valuable equipment card. And if you don't, if you fail, there's no penalty at all. I would like to do this alone. Okay, so this is where it gets to be a king of the Tokyo style dice game where you're going to roll all six of these dice and keep the ones you want and you get to roll up to three times. All right, so roll them in there. Oh, okay. We got the Zoro thing. Let's roll it up in there, buddy. All right, so you need two of the whites and two of the blues. I have... I'm going to keep these, the two frosts. All right, of them. And the leap. Sounds good. Then you get two more re-rolls. Okay. So if I had joined you... You could use any of your equipment, and if any other player joined you, you may use any of their equipment in addition to your own during your roll. So you get there. to use my equipment. Nice. I got A. Yeah, I exposed you, bamboozler. And then I would also get a special fourth roll, which would help us, but I don't think we're probably going to end up doing too much of that. So you have exposed the bamboozler, which means this get... card goes in front of you, which is good. And I take his staff. You do take the staff and put it over here. Right? Oh, nope, you put dropped it. Over it. Here. Okay. Made you we got plenty of room going on over here in the camera. So let's see. This is where we'll keep our stuff. So now you have the staff, which means if you roll those three white symbols, you can make them whatever you want. So a little pro tip would be going for things that don't need the three white symbols. Because that way, if you accidentally do roll the three white symbols, you're good. So now we get ourselves a new heroic feat, subvert an extortion, and a new common equipment. This one is from the base game. Because sometimes you'll see they have the little symbol. See that? That means it's from the expansion. All right, my turn. I will travel to... Let's see. Interrupt a firing squad. Stop! He's an innocent person. All right. Roll with the six dice. Let's do it. Let's do it. Two hands. Like it. Grab, grab. Grab the guy. 
Dash away. One more. One more. Oh, Come on. Oh, they're, they're following you. No! They're following no, you. No, 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 no. Oh, I got it. Ooh, Just you, barely. You got away. All right. So, I interrupted the firing squad. Now, one thing that I want to mention is, you'll notice that these have these little dice here. Because if you ever get two of the same one, remember, you unlock this die. That becomes your die that only you get to use. Remember that? Oh. So, going for the yellow might not be a bad idea for you next time. If you want to, but it's up to you. All right. So, we got ourselves a new common equipment. The sheath. So, which lets you re-roll all the thrusts which would not be particularly good for you because you actually really like to keep your thrust. So that's one thing to take into consideration that even though you do want yellow, you might not want that special ability because you can have three there common equipment. You can have, oh, you know, there is. You can have three common equipment and one premium equipment. And remember, you can only get the premium equipment by defeating a scoundrel. A group of scoundrels. See, there's not more than... See, there's well, no, 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 no. You still are only going to face one. It's just now there's three potential scoundrels it might be. So each time they're going to be a little different. And actually, each of the scoundrels has its own little thing in the villains that they do. So you look here and you can figure out their special rules. Pretty cool, huh? All right. All right. All right. Yeah, so in this game mode, so normally those would be faced up. That's actually one of the differences between the expansion and the base game. So with Scoundrels and Villains, they now start face down until activated. When a hero die is unlocked, draw one of these, the top one, or randomly draw one. And then the rest of the two would go back to the oh, box. All right, my turn. All right, yeah. So where are you going, good sir? I'm... Going. Where did I go? Oh, I'm in the dice. I'm gonna go find the last true love. Find the last true love. All right. I need a cool. two reds. And two reds and two greens. And uh, if you get some whites, it's actually pretty stinking good for you. So roll it up. Oh. Oh no, they're heavy. They're heavy. Whoa, two whites and two greens and a red. So you got your red, too. You got I'm one of your charms. I'm running there. I'm running in there. I'm running there. So, now you have uh, a choice, which is probably a pretty easy one. Um, you could try and hold on to these two to get three of a kind on that, but it doesn't make much sense. You probably yeah. have much better odds of just rolling all three and hopefully getting that red. Nope. One more. Oh, no. Can I do it? Oh, should have asked for help. Good, sir. I could have hoped you find your true lost love. So I found it, but I couldn't get the bars open. Perhaps you can come back. But the good news is, because I didn't have to run off with you to try to find your ex-girlfriend, I was able to adopt little Timmy over here. Uh, I'm going to adopt an orphan, which actually doesn't really help me because I have my my cape doesn't help me adopt an orphan. <laughs> Mm, but my hands do. I'll grab him. Wait, what? This sounds like I'm stealing him. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll grab him and give him a hug. <laughs> I'll also charm him. Ooh, no, no, my no. Spell Come on. Him. I should have asked for help. I should have asked for help. Womp. Weppity. Womp. Huh? I must try and defeat those orphans. Okay. Scoundrels. Well, I was going to say, what? <laughs> Defeating orphans? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so what are you trying to do? I will try to do that, but I'll help. All right. Then, oh, you're asking if I would like to help you. You can't just demand my help. I'll help you. Okay. So now you can use my equipment. So you automatically have a dash. Um, oh, I already got... Two charms, two charms, and one dash. I think I misspoke earlier, so this counts as one dash for you, which means you only need one more, and you got it, using my cape. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come Wait, on. It gives you, since, well, since you're helping me, I get a full. No, no, no. I will get to do one extra thing. But I won't need to because you've accomplished your goal with my cape. 
Don't ever forget that I helped you with my cape. Your cape was dirty. It had taco sauce on it. So I gave you my clean one and then you impressed her. So now you've found your lost true love. And? And you can re-roll grabs with your new sack. And, oh my goodness, we got some stuff going on. So you have unlocked that. So put that over here. Well, we got camera room. So you got a sack and you got a staff. I get this card right here. I have gotten myself, ooh, my leaps can turn into charms. Horseshoes, cool. That's actually really nice. But since you have gotten two of the same symbol, recover the stolen jewels. Ooh, what's this? Gunpowder. Discard one of your equipment to get up to two extra rolls this turn. That's really good. All right. But since you have acquired the second heroic feat from the same location, which is the yellow, you permanently acquire a new yellow hero die. Congratulations. It goes right there for now. So you remember it? Boop. Nope, oh, right here. It's got the little square for you and hope you remember you. But now that's not all. The scoundrels are here. The scoundrel is here. So let's see. Let's Where? make sure we... Oh, there's four. Oh, there's three. Let's make sure we get the new one. You want to get the new one? For yeah. sure. All right. So we got... Boom. Zoro imposters. Now, the Zoro imposters actually attack me first. And then they attack you. And then we go back to our regular turn. So it's my turn next, okay? So don't forget. Zoro imposters. Choose a symbol other than the hand. If you don't get two or more of those on one of your rolls, you lose the fight. Okay. Hmm. So I cannot get any help with the scoundrels, though. That is the rule. So choose a symbol other than the hand. If you don't get two or more of those on one of your rolls, you lose the fight. Now, does the cape count? Does the cape count? I do believe the cape has to count, right? I think the cape would count as one of mine on my roll. Two more of those on one of them. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the cape. All I have to do is get one cape. Which is not in... You know, you... Oh, no. I'm going to take this. Boom. But I still need to get one green. That's all I need to get, and I'm cool. Oh, and I could I could convert this into... No, yeah. I can't. No, I can't. You can turn it into charm. All right, second it roll. It says... Oh, you need one more yellow. Choose a symbol. Yes, yeah, I need one more yellow. But I have to get a green. So I got the green, which means I did get my two dashes on that roll. Because there's my cape and that. And I got the yellow, which means the scoundrel is defeated. Ha, 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 ha. What a player defeats the scoundrel. They are rewarded with a <gasps> premium equipment card. Oh. What if it's something you don't even need? Borrow one hero die from anywhere. I'd say that's a pretty good one. Yeah. This is mine. Well, I can borrow one from over here. Oh, yeah. Zoro imposters have been defeated. And now it goes back to the regular turn order, which means it's my turn. And I will now go adopt an orphan. Maybe. Whoa. If you get another yellow, that will trigger the end of the game. <laughs> Something to think about. You're in the lead right now. All right. I will not ask for your help because I know I can defeat it with this extra wait that gives me the extra red symbol which i'll need i'll need to charm her then i got a charm and two grabs bam bam and you know what with my horseshoes i can turn this into a charm and i just got it first roll booyah baby hmm. so a pam i've adopted an orphan his name is timmy meet timmy say hello timmy Hey, Tim Dim. That's not very kind. I don't like that choice. I will stab you with my dagger if I hear you make fun of my adopted child again. This <laughs> adopted child is still my child. Don't ever forget that, but it's really important. Just because someone's adopted, their, ki their parents love them just as much as we love you. Don't you ever forget that. Okay? <laughs> That's very important to know. All right, so we get a new heroic feat. Oh, no! You have a scoundrel! Ooh, what is that one? Stirrups. What? Leap, leap, leap. If you get that, you get to draw heroic feet? That's really cool. Let's double check it on our little thing right here. And I love when they do this. I love when games do this. So what do we need? Stirrups? Use up to once per turn. The active player, never a helper, draws from the heroic feet deck. This may allow you to trigger a scoundrel or villain and acquire a new 
hero die. Wow, that is really good. That's kind of cray cray. All right, but the blue scoundrel has been released upon your face, Sean. All right. New one, new one. Well, we'll make sure it's a new one. That's a new one. Who is it? Who is it, Sean? It's Red Vatos Assassin. Each time you roll two or more blue on a roll, choose one dice to not use for the rest of your turn. Uh, wow. So you don't want to roll two blues. Okay. Okay. But the, you need the blues. You do. So, let's see what happens. Don't forget. So, put this right here, because it's prime and center. Uh, and you get to roll your dice, but don't forget your yellow dice as well. And your special abilities as well. You have special abilities. Ha ha. I can re-roll any hands. So, roll all the dice. I don't want to get more than two blues. Don't forget to roll your elf. Remember? No, no, no. Just roll it in here. It was that. All right. So, easy. what? Just keep it in there, buddy. Because you're going to need it. So you got your hand. Or you got your, uh, you got a sword, which is good. Actually, one thing I might consider doing is, this is something to think about. You have two swords. Remember, if you can get three swords, you can make them whatever you want. And you also have three hands. And remember what you can do with the hands? Because your sack. Yeah, so let's set these to the side. Re-roll the hands. So we don't actually bump them. And re-roll those and see if you can get something good. That's something good. So, you got, oh wow, holy moly, Sean, you are, you're just crazy lucky right now. So, I want you to try and figure out what you should do. Mm. Oh, you got this too. Turn these to blues? How? Those are Z's. Do you need Z's? Oh, no. So why don't you just set those to the side? You're not going to use those, right? Make one of them into a blue. You can, since you have three of them, you can make those three into anything you want. So, does that count as rolling them? I don't know. If it counts. Sean? Don't worry about it. Okay. Trust me. So what do you want to turn that one into? A blue? Mm-hmm. What do you want to do the last one? Blue. And then what do you want to do with the rest of your stuff? Sorry. Yep. So even if it did, it just says choose one die to not use the rest of your turn. So it's like, all right, I won't use that one, but it doesn't matter because you defeated the scoundrel. Bam. Assassins yeah! down. All thanks to your sack. And you remember, the only reason you have a sack is because I let you borrow my cape. So don't forget it. I don't overhead forget. smashed him with my sack. He's like, you want some? <clears throat> Maybe it was attached to your staff. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, your staff and your sack work well together. You used your sack to use your staff. I like games like this where you can where you get to use cards to use other cards. There's a lot of games like this. Do you like this? Yeah, and I used I used my sword to finish him off. But yeah. more importantly, you have you've unlocked a piece of premium equipment. Oh. Oh. The bull whip. Up to two of your Z's are wild. Wow! So if you roll Z's, it's like wild now. That's oh. insanity. Alright, so Sean, here's how this is gonna work. Since I was the one who did the scoundrels it's still your turn so you can do one of these now if you do another yellow you will unlock the villain and we will go to the final round of the game which i don't think is a bad idea for you i think you have very good cards in front of you not to mention you're also going to get um holy moly that gunpowder is spectacular for a final villain just saying <laughs> Okay, I will I will try. Recover the stolen jewels. Yeah. Nah, oh yeah. Do you want my help? I imagine you probably are not going to want my help. 
because blues are going to help you, greens are going to help you, yellows are going to help you, and Zs are going to help you. You're in a very good position. Remember you roll all those because you unlock that yellow Z die? All right. So what do you need? That's, that's a wild. I want to turn this into... Well, why don't you see what you need first? Grab what else you need and then go from there. Because there's a couple of them you know you're going to take. Like, you know you're taking that. You know you're taking that. You know, Yeah, you're going to take that. You know that. And, yep. And I think you now know what you want to turn that into, don't you? Yep. Yep. Yay! And, just for good measure, you almost had three swords, which means you could have made anything you want. So, you have recovered the stolen jewels! You're a hero! Like, also, got recovered some gunpowder. Get some! Give which me that gunpowder in your pocket! You're in a very good position. You have the three equipment cards that you're allowed to have, and the one, uh, which means these are gone. The regular Yeet. phase of the game has reached its conclusion, because now it is time. final battle time. Each player gets exactly one attempt to fight the villain. They do so in turn order, starting with the player to the left who triggered him. So I'm going to fight them first. If only one player is able to defeat the villain, then they will become the next Sorrow. Yeah. If neither of us defeat the villain, Duel. we'll have a Zorro duel off. And if both of us defeat the villain, we'll also have a Zorro duel off. So, which one are you grabbing? I will take... And we can put all these back into the box. This guy! Is that one of the new ones? That's the old one. Get a new one. They have a symbol on the bottom right. Boom, there you go. These, All right, so these ones can go back in the box. Who do we have today, sir? Put them down. We have Lorenzo Lozano, the hypnotist. The player to your left chooses one of your equipment that you cannot use this turn. Whoa, okay, Sean. Gulp. Which equipment would you like me to not use this turn? Oh. Um. Which one do you think will be... So, there are two... Let's talk about this, because I, I love teaching you games. So, what do you think about this one? Do you think this is a good one to cancel out? No, because you don't I, need... I don't need daggers. What about the dash? You don't need dashes. Bingo! This one is going to let me borrow a hero die from anywhere. That's really good. What about this one? What does this let me do? Turn a leap into a charm. Do I even want to do that? No! Oh, my equipment! Oh! So that one, just flip it over. I do not have my mask. I took it <laughs> and threw it over the ledge. Of the I'll remember this. I put it I put it into a rocket ship and told him to put it on the moon and then rip it apart. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to defeat Lorenzo the old-fashioned way. By grabbing him. And taunting him because that's what the Z's and the T <laughs> Come on, grab you. Well, I guess you want to get close to him or else they hypnotize you. Come on, come on. That's not a very good start. We got one. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I got two rolls. I will not be defeated by you, Lorenzo. It will not be defeated. I will. I will stand it. But no, actually, I feel like this is the. Oh, I will defeat you, kind sir. Come on, come on. Oh, no! He almost had, he's looking you in the eyes right now. You know what? I'm gonna do it one at a time. That's gonna give me better luck. There we go. This is bad. I have lost. No! My only hope, I didn't get any. <laughs> so now my only hope is that you do not. But you have the yellow die, which means you're much more likely to get a hand. That's not good. All right, so which piece of equipment would I like to cancel? This one lets you reroll grabs, which isn't very useful to you this time, is it? That one's really useful to you. That one's really useful to you. And that one's really useful to you. And But I have to stop you from getting two extra rolls. Like that, I have to, because here's the thing. You would very happily get rid of this gunpowder and get rid of the sack, right? Use the gunpowder in the sack. Because that gets you two extra rolls, so you're going to get five rolls. So, yeah, I have to get rid of this one. But, man, this is looking bad. This is looking real bad for Dad. All right, here we go. 
Dad, oh, let me Dad. let me back away from Lorenzo. I could not cut it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. I want to beat you, Lorenzo. So, so Sean, ha. I want to talk to you real quick. Do you have two yellow dice? Are you kidding me? What we have right now is in board games called a stand-up die roll moment, which means if you roll well, the game is over and you win or you lose. So this is this is one of the things that I love in board games. It's called a stand-up die roll moment. Are you ready? I'm... Oh my gosh, it's so many dice. It's so many dice. Lorenzo, stay strong, Lorenzo. Stay strong, Lorenzo. No, Lorenzo! Lorenzo, you're so weak! You're so weak, Lorenzo. You didn't even need to use your special abilities. You didn't even need to roll a second time. You, sir, are the new Zorro. Which means you have won. Put on your mask and we'll do the obligatory picture for social media. Because that's what it says to do, actually. <laughs> We're shooting a video, but there we go. But that is the expansion, the, the Zorro Dice game, Heroes and Villain. It pretty much just adds more cards, a face-down system, which I do like, and a solo variant, which I will play sometime in the near future. Yeah. Maybe maybe I might play it with Sean. Would you want to try it sometime? Yeah, sure. Well, there you go. If you enjoy what we're doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below because it does help a good deal and allows us to bump up that camera equipment. And in the comments below, let me know. You got a question for the people, Sean? Um, if you could have one, one weapon, what would it be? What would your weapon be? It would be a... It, hmm. Would you like me to go first? Yeah, sure. Well, there's something called the brown noise, Sean. Have you ever heard of the brown noise? No. Rumor has it that there is a, a note that you can play, and if you play the note perfectly on a uh, uh, an instrument, then people will lose control of their bowels and poop their pants. What? <laughs> it's called the brown note. <laughs> so I would like the mystical brown note flute <laughs> that I could play and make people nearby poop their pants. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, that is the one I would want because I think that would be the funnest and funniest weapon to have. Imagine if you just, what if you got front row tickets to like a football game? Like we were going to see the Broncos and it was a big play, like a big play for the other team and everything was on this play and if we can, if the other team messes up, we win, you know, we win a big a playoff game or something. Yay! And right before they're about to run the play, Everybody on the field poops their pants. <laughs> Everybody poops their pants. You think that quarterback's going to be feeling good knowing that his poop's all over? No. That's what I'd get. What would you get? I would get <laughs> a time launcher. What is a time launcher? It's a rocket launcher that shoots out different periods of time or... It shoots out like pause time. Slow down time. Reverse time. Or speed up time. Cool. I want you to try something. I want you to say that again, but I want you to look right here when you say it. Look at my fingers. Okay. I want you to look right there and say it. Um, I would no, have, no, look right there. I would have a time launcher. What does a time launcher do? Um, it could drop you. Okay, that's cool. Well, let us know in the comments down below. I'm going to show Sean about looking in the camera because I really am bad about it too. <laughs> it always thanks for your time, YouTube. So let me show you this, buddy.